Hello, everyone, and welcome to the scenic Turnpike Valley Country Club. Born in a motorcycle repair shop, Harley grew up with a crowbar in one hand and a golf club in the other. Harley perfected her golf swing, beating up boyfriends and relatives. She is currently living in a van with her hog-riding, tough, yet tender boyfriend and caddy, Snake. Harley can frequently be seen on TV, usually being handcuffed and hauled away by local police for disorderly conduct. Well, let's get this show on the road and start this round of golf. Here we are at the first. Yo, 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 welcome to hole number one. I right, check it out. When you tee off, don't even think about clearing that bridge up ahead, because you ain't going to do it. Just thread the needle and keep it straight. 367 yards, par four. Word. good out there, folks. Second shot. Third shot. Watch out! That ball isn't stopping anytime soon. Fourth shot. You don't need positive thinking with that shot. Yeah, par is easy when you're as freaking good as me. We're here at the second. Oh my goodness, this hole is 329 yards long. No wonder it's a par four. And ew, look at that dog leg to the right. Why do they call it a dog leg anyway? Dogs don't play golf. Heading south. Third shot. Harley is going to shoot a par on this hole. when you're as freaking good as me. Here we are at the third. This may only be a 201 yard par three, but you've got a bloody ocean on your left. 
Now, unless you're Moses and can part it, stay to the right. If you can't, ask one of those buggers standing around the green to make themselves useful and fish it out for you. Second shot. Harley is praying to save par. Keep clapping. We're at the four. This is a 370-yard par four, with the greenest grass as you will see in New Jersey. Interesting tidbit, New Jersey is called the Garden State, and some say it was this course that the state was named after. Those people who say that have long been locked up in state-run institutions. Harley! is looking to crunch one off the tee. Yes, indeedy Rudy, that's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Second shot. Third shot. Way to go! There's hope for some good golf yet. <laughs> Less filling. Here we are at the fifth. Yo, check it out, dog. If you are a dog, y'all gonna hate this hole, cause dogs don't like to swim. So keep it right, and you'll be tired. But I give you some consumer advice. When nobody's looking, jump into the water with a net and fish yourself out some balls. Y'all will save yourself from spending 12 bucks for three at the pro shop. Know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, this is a 478 yarder. Pa five. Peace out. Second shot. That ball was hit with a serious vengeance. Oh, there must be something going on at home. Third shot. Someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. Harley 
has a chance for the chance to drop a birdie. You don't need positive thinking with that shot. To drop it in the cup for a sweet par. <laughs> Home run putt. Get this, boys. We're at the six. Ew, I don't like that water hazard on the left. I am so not into anything that's Aquarius. <laughs> Good thing this hole is only a 347 yard par four. It sure looks easy from up here, but it's probably not so easy. Unless Jupiter happens to be aligned with Uranus. <laughs> Some good golf yet. Second shot. Yeah, yeah baby, nice contact. Yeah. Yes, indeedy, Rudy. That's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Harley is putting for a little birdie. Yes, sir, Reed Bob, this golf is heading in the right direction. I am firing on all cylinders. We're here at the seventh. You know these bloody groundskeepers really deserve whatever they get. You are looking at 496 yards of evenly groomed grass. Look at the lines. They're perfect. Just perfect. Straight and even, mate. Unbelievable. Are you looking at them? Hey, are you not looking at them? Don't make me pound the bloody spit out of you. Look at them. Look. Look. Second shot. Third shot. <laughs> Gotta like that. No two ways about it, folks. We are looking at a player knee deep in the zone. <laughs> Here we are at the eighth. This, my friend, is a 215 yard par three. It is straight and not so hard to manage. Keep your head down and stay out of traffic. Oh, look, a semi. Boop, boop. Oh, how come he not go boop, boop for El Suave? He must be east bound and down, 18 wheels hair rolling. He's going to do what they said that cannot be done. What is El Suave talking about? 
What rent has El Suave gone off on now? Second shot. to make par. course was designed by someone who's whacked. How are you supposed to get your damn ball between these cement things? This ain't no miniature golf. Might as well put a windmill in a clown's mouth down there. Shoot, if it was me, I'd just putt off the damn tee and keep putting. It's a 422 yarder, par four. Good luck. That's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Second shot. Someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. <laughs> yeah. Here we are at the tent. Excuse me, but is that a tower in the middle of the fairway? Like, what is going on with that? <laughs> This is a 482 yard par five. There's a wicked dog leg to the left. And look, the green looks like a dog paw. Sort of. What a shot! Can't hit it much harder than that. Yes, sir, Rebob, this golf is heading in the right direction. Second shot. Way to go! Third shot. There you go. Ooh, this 
just in. Someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. Harley is going for the chance to drop a birdie. That's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Ah, I want some red meat! We're here at the 11th. Aye, this hole is a 398 yard par four. It's straight and easy, so if you blow this one, then you bloody well suck! Look at this thing. There isn't a single freaking obstacle for as far as the eye can see, except for the water on your right, or those three nasty sand traps around the green. through a couple time zones because that's a different time because it went so far over there. Second shot. Yeah, baby, nice contact. Wow, that ball is really cooking. is trying for an attempt at birdie. Graceful loping fairway is a 457 yard par 4. It is a worthy challenge for a worthy opponent. Admire the taunting water hazard behind the green, protected by a menacing sand trap. El Suave likes. Zone, second shot. That ball was hit with a serious vengeance. Oh, there must be something going on at home. Third shot. this putt to shoot a par on this hole. We're here at the 13th. Aye, look, it's 166 yards, par three, downhill, facing the river. You hit it too hard, and you're swimming with the fishes. And that ain't never a good thing.
too bad. Things are not looking very promising. Second shot. Oh, that'll work. Harley is shooting to drop it in the cup for a sweet par. <laughs> Home run putt. Guess this, boys. We're here at the 14th. Okay, this is a really nice hole. It's a 410 yard par four. It kind of reminds me of our backyard, only much longer and without the little cart path or the big sand traps or the badly dressed people standing around or the cute flag sticking into the hole. <laughs> but otherwise, it's exactly the same. a perfectly sliced shot, and by perfect, I mean it sucked. Oh my, it's not looking good out there, folks. Second shot. Cop out! Looks like someone's using a cannon for a club. Third shot. Harley is looking to save par. the 15th. This hole's a 507 yard par five. I could piss on that water tower if it was any closer. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Unless you're so drunk, you vomit on your ball and can't find it. Not that that's ever happened to me. thinking with that shot. Harley is praying for a crack at a birdie. Way to go. There's hope for some good golf yet. Well, 
We're here at the 16th. This is a 444-yard par-4. You must avoid the train at all costs. It is very expensive. Then you will face a long dog leg to the right. Before you reach the green, you must traverse a canopy of trees surrounded by treacherous sand and water. I fear for you. Ooh, this just in. Someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. Second shot. Third shot. Harley has a chance to prove that dumb luck beats out real skill with a par. Folks. What? Come here and say that to my face. Here we are at the 17th. I right, look, you see that big building back there? My ex, Kanisha, works there. So do me a favor, grab a driver and aim for the ninth floor. Forget the 215 yard par three and do me this solid, all right? Well, folks, things are not looking rosy. Harley is faced with a tough shot out of the sand. Harley is putting to salvage a par. Closer to the hole than that without it falling in. Talk about being robbed! To settle for a bogey. We're here at the 18th. You know, when I reach an 18th hole, I like to sit back and reflect on the last 17 holes from whence I already came. But I don't reflect too much, for I have yet one more hole to play. So I quit the thinking, and I start to focus. Hey, I can see my house from here. Harley is looking mighty happy to tee off on something. Knocked off it. Yeah. You don't need positive thinking with that shot. Second shot.
third shot. Wow, that ball really took off! Harley is lining up this putt to make par. From the look of things, I think someone is seconds away from a beating. Let's watch. Moving. Stop moving. Give me your arm. I'll help you up. Now there's a caddy who's earning his pay. One badass golfer. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, that concludes an excellent day of golf. Today's winner is Harley. <laughs> On behalf of myself and the crew, we hope to see you back here real soon.